Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Surbhi Sharma. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 28th of January. India's Prime Minister Modi says our armed forces can defeat Pakistan in 10 days. Pakistan slams Afghan President's statement in favour of arrested activists. And US military confirms crash disputes plane shot down in Afghanistan. And now for all the details. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday said the Indian Armed Forces do not need more than 10 days to defeat our neighboring country that has lost three wars against us. Alluding to Pakistan, he said they have been fighting proxy wars against India since decades which have claimed the lives of thousands of civilians and soldiers. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi indirectly hitting out at Pakistan on Tuesday said that India can defeat its neighbouring country in a matter of just 10 days. Addressing the annual Prime Minister's National Cadet Corps Rally 2020, Modi said the neighbouring country has lost three wars but continues to wage proxy wars against India, which have claimed lives of thousands of civilians and soldiers over the years. He also slammed the inaction of previous governments in India and said they treated the problem as a law and order issue. Prime Minister Modi also defended the newly passed Citizenship Amendment Act, which paves way to Indian citizenship to non-Muslims who fled persecution from Pakistan, Afghanistan and Bangladesh and settled in India before 2015. He said the law was brought by his government to correct historical injustice done to persecuted minorities in neighbouring countries. With the number of suspected cases of coronavirus increasing across the country, India's Health Minister Dr. Harsh Vardhan confirmed that the virus has not entered the country as yet and asked not to panic. The coronavirus outbreak in China's Wuhan has so far killed around 106 people. India's Health Minister Dr. Harshwardhan on Tuesday reviewed the status of preparedness regarding novel coronavirus with senior officials in capital New Delhi. The Health Minister assured to not to worry and get into a panic. He confirmed that the virus has not entered the country as yet. To take a precautionary measure, he said that all hospitals have been asked to make isolation wards. कोरोना वायरस है इसको भी भारत में प्रवेश ना करने दें जो नेपाल से बॉर्डर्स हैं उनके ऊपर भी स्क्रीनिंग हो रही है पोर्ट्स के ऊपर भी स्क्रीनिंग हो रही है एयरपोर्ट्स पर भी स्क्रीनिंग हो रही है और सारा समाज मिलकर जब सतर्कता बढ़तेगा तो निश्चित रूप से इस विषय पर हमको अपने समाज को इस नोवल कोरोना वायरस के दुष्प्रभाव से बचाने में Meanwhile, Foreign Ministry spokesman Ravish Kumar took to Twitter and said, India is preparing to evacuate citizens from China's Hubei province following the coronavirus outbreak. The coronavirus outbreak, which began less than a month ago in China's Wuhan, has killed around 106 people as of Tuesday. Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar said that efforts to evacuate Indians, including students in Wuhan, affected by the situation arising out of the outbreak is underway. 
Pakistan on Monday raised objection over Afghan President Khani's statement in favor of arrested Pashtun activist Manzoor Pashtin and described it as clear interference in its internal matters. Pakistan's Foreign Ministry on Monday described Afghan President Ashraf Ghani's statement as unwarranted and a clear interference in its internal affairs. After Ghani expressed, he was troubled over the arrest of Manzoor Pashtin, the leader of Pashtun Tahafuz Movement or PTM in Pakistan. Ghani, hoping for Pashtin's immediate release, had said on Twitter that while our region is suffering from atrocities caused by violent extremism and terrorism, Governments in the region must support and encourage peaceful civilian movements for justice and must avoid any means of force and violence against these movements. In a release, Pakistan's foreign ministry said that such statements are not helpful to the promotion of good neighborly relations between the two countries. Manzoor Pashtin was on Monday sent to a 14-day judicial remand by a court in Pakistan's Peshawar on sedition charges over a speech on January 18, in which he allegedly said that the 1973 constitution violated basic human rights, local media reports said. Pashtin's PTM, a social movement, is known for its strident criticism of the country's powerful military, for alleged enforced disappearances and extrajudicial killings in Pashtun-dominated tribal areas. Moving on. Locals in Pakistan administered Kashmir have expressed dismay over rising gas prices amid ongoing harsh winters as they use it for heating appliances apart from cooking. They have accused the Pakistani government of being apathetic towards their plight by failing to regulate prices. With ongoing harsh winter, liquefied petroleum gas is a necessity of life in Pakistan administered Kashmir as it is also used in heating appliances apart from cooking equipment. But with a recent hike in gas prices, residents are being left to suffer. The locals are already facing immense difficulties due to the consistent rise in inflation and now a sharp increase in gas prices, along with food and transportation costs, has severely hit the domestic budgets of people in the illegally occupied region. They have accused the Pakistani government of being apathetic towards their plight by failing to regulate prices. So, gas men and women are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. उस तब्दीली से लोग बहुत ज़्यादा परेशान हैं कि वो तब्दीली जब से आई है उसने आते साथ ही लोगों को जिस कसम पोसी की हालत में दिखेल दिया है तो लोगों का आय रोज का जो जो अखराजात हैं दिन पर दिन हर चीज़ में इजाफ़े ही होता जा रहे Pakistan in recent months has been witnessing economic challenges owing to its incompetent policies. However, this occupied region which is already marginalized has borne the major brunt of unfair taxes and high inflation. The US military on Monday confirmed a crash of an E-11 air military craft in Afghanistan, Ghazni province. But despite claims by Taliban insurgents that they shot it down, the military said there were no indications that the crash was caused by enemy fire. The U.S. military said on Monday an E-11A aircraft crashed in Afghanistan's Ghazni province but disputed claims that the Taliban had brought the military plane down. Colonel Sonny Leggett, a spokesman for the U.S. military in Afghanistan, took to Twitter and said, while the cause of the crash is under investigation, there are no indications the crash was caused by enemy fire. Leggett tweeted, Taliban claims that additional aircraft have crashed our faults. The plane had crashed near the Taliban-controlled area of Dayak district in the central Afghan province of Ghazni on Sunday. However, conflicting reports had emerged in the aftermath of the crash. Taliban social media accounts have posted pictures and videos of what they described as the wreckage of the aircraft shot by them. Commercial honey production is in full swing in parts of Bangladesh 
as beekeepers are busy collecting their bumper honey crop during this winter season. Beekeepers have claimed this time the honey appears to be of good quality and that the favorable weather has given them a bumper production. As winter is the most favorable season for commercial honey production, professional honey collectors in parts of Bangladesh can be seen working hard on collecting honey these days. According to the beekeepers at a mustard field on the outskirts of Bangladeshi capital Dhaka, this season the honey appears to be of good quality and that the favorable weather has given them a bumper production. Officials said bee boxes besides mustard fields are expanding fast in Bangladesh and considered as effective methods to collect honey. Bangladesh Small and Cottage Industries Corporation or BSCIC was the first in the country that initiated apiculture but failed due to inappropriate technology. Later, the organization again started beekeeping in modern and scientific way and ever since has been successful in promoting apiculture as a potential business and extension of beekeeping activities throughout the country. According to BSCIC, there are some 7,000 bee farms across Bangladesh now, which employ tens of thousands of people. Authorities in India's northern Jammu and Kashmir have started taking measures to protect the endangered stags of the Kashmir Valley. The authorities, like every year, are providing special foods and hospitable environment for the endangered species as they have a hard time looking for food amid snow and sub-zero temperatures. As heavy snow has covered parts of India's Jammu and Kashmir, authorities at the Tachigam National Park have started making additional efforts to keep the Kashmir stag well fed this season. The endangered stag, locally known as Hangul, is a subspecies of elk native to India with a light rump patch without including the tail. Arranging food for the hangul is a routine exercise for the wildlife officials during peak winters as the animal cannot find food for itself. As part of the annual exercise, the officials scatter food items like dry leaves, vegetables and mineral cakes made of special salts across feeding points in the park in the Kashmir Valley. और जब तक हमें अप्रिहेंशन ये रहता है कि जो है इनका फूड जो है बिकॉज ऑफ द स्नो कवर जो है इफेक्ट रहता है तब तक ये एक्सरसाइज चालू रहेगी और इसमें मैं आपको ये भी बताना चाहूँगा कि बिसाइड्स द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन हमारे पास कुछ वॉल्टियर्स भी हैं जिनको मैं आपके जरिए से जो है अप्रिशिएट करना चाहूँगा और जिनका शुक्रिया भी करना चाहूँगा ये साल भर अपना जो गजायत है यहाँ के कुदरती वसाइल से इनको हासिल होती है लेकिन विंटर में जब बहुत बड़ा बारी बारा बारी होती है यहाँ पे तो उनका फूड ब्लॉक हो जाता है तो हमारी जिम्मेवारियाँ काफ़ी हद तक बढ़ जाती हैं और इसमें सबसे पहले हमें पहले से ही एक तैयारी होती है जो सेलेक्स की टहनियाँ काट कर हम गठरियों की सूरत में पेड़ों पे स्टोर करते रहते हैं इसके साथ साथ आजकल जो ग्रीन वेजिटेबल होता है एवरी ईयर एज विंटर टाइटन इज ग्रिप ओवर द हिमालयन रीजन The rare species has a hard time looking for food amid snow and sub-zero temperatures. The exercise also seeks to prevent the stags from stepping out of the sanctuary, which puts them at risk of being hunted by poachers. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude, the top stories once again. India's Prime Minister Modi says our armed forces can defeat Pakistan in 10 days. Pakistan slams Afghan president's statement in favor of arrested activist. And US military confirms crash disputes plane shot down in Afghanistan. Now our viewers can watch the show on southasianewsline.com. You can also visit us on facebook.com/sasianewsline and follow us on Twitter at sasianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night.